And Denver is experiencing massive amounts of snow just west of Denver, already 18 inches of snow. Many residents bracing for what could be a long weekend, stranded at home. Driving is already a nightmare there. Experts say this weekend storm could break into the top 10 list of heaviest snowstorms in Denver history. That wild weather to the north is actually taking its toll on travelers here in Albuquerque as well. News 13's Alex Goldsmith is live at the Sunport with the story. Yeah, Diane, if you're looking to get to Denver anytime today, you might want to make other plans. There were 10 scheduled direct flights from Albuquerque to Denver today, but right now seven of those have been canceled. This morning, United was able to squeeze one flight in, but conditions dictated its other four flights be canceled. Southwest and Frontier have canceled a total of three flights to Albuquerque, uh, excuse me, to Denver as well. We're told at least a third of the flights in and out of Denver have been canceled, nearly 600 flights in total. I spoke with one stranded passenger from the UK who's trying to get to Denver to visit her family. The flight they put me on is on Sunday, which is a bit alarming. Um, so I've booked an extra flight with um, United going out tomorrow morning, and I don't know if that will now, a Southwest spokesman told me that they're still looking at their later flights. They'll reevaluate to see if those can head up to Denver later on this evening. Back to you in the studio. All right, thank you, Alex. Driving to Denver may not be any easier. I-25 is open to the state line, but the farther north that you go, the trickier those conditions get.